Did you hear the fall? Did you hear the collapse? Did you hear it? I bet you didn't. You know why? Because I didn't hear it. Maybe you did. If you heard it, you're paying too much attention. So I just happened to log into my M1 account today, and lo and behold, my VBK is down 10% from just, what, eight days ago or something like that. I was like, what? What? And it's down 11% from February. So let's look at this. I didn't, I mean, this is what, this is, this is how you invest. So here's VBK on, uh, what's that? What, what day? Oops, let me go down a little bit. That is, ah, man, I keep screwing that up. It's, that is, does it give us a date on there? 418. It's trading at 284. Now it's trading as low as 269 yesterday. 269. So whatever that is, that's 7% loss, something like that. 284. Well, look at this. I didn't know this. It was up to 302. Back on what day was that? Let's see here. Let's see what day that was. Does it tell us right here? Yeah. Hold on a second, my friends. There we go. On 2.7, it's trading at 3.02, and now it's trading at 2.69. So it's down 11% over the course of uh, yeah, three months' time, February, April, February, March, April. Huh. Did you do anything? Did you even know it? I didn't. So what happened? Did it pay a dividend? I bet it wasn't much. It's a, it's a growth fund, growth index fund, small cap growth index fund. So let's see historical prices. I bet it wasn't a dividend that docked it down. All right, so let's go to historical prices, dividends only. And let's see what we got here. Apply. We'll go to dividends only. We'll hit apply. It paid a uh, 19 cent dividend. Oh, no, not, yeah, 15 cents. 19 cent dividend on March 25th. So that's not even, this happened before. Regardless of the dividend, the price went down. What happened? I don't know. Do I care? No. I mean, do I want to go up uh, dropping interest rates or driving growth stocks higher? Well, that's not what happened there. That's from five months ago. Uh, five, there's no, no info, and I just don't care. So isn't that interesting? Small cap growth was down basically 11% from three months ago, roughly 8 to 9% over the last week and a half. This is how you invest, man. You don't invest like, oh, my goodness, what's happening? The world's chaos. Oh, me, Kevin, is saying carnage. Oh. I have no idea what, let's take a look what the holdings are on this fund. I, I have no idea, no clue. Um, a little bit of holdings. And let's see the top 10. Teledyne, Integris, Biotechni, Charles River, BTK, BTC. I don't know any of these companies. Fair Isaac, I know that. FICO, there you go. Uh, but the biggest is, oh, look, it only got six uh, point less than 1% of the biggest holding. So I don't know what's happening. So let's look for a small cap growth news. Small cap growth news. And let's just see what happens here. I have no idea. And we'll see what's going on. Is that where the the, tech, the uh, crypto stuff is small cap? Uh, why is, okay. You, Yellen, I don't care what she says. Uh... Uh, CDC, investor of blown away. Okay, add U.S. stop Trump era to loosen. Okay, U.S. stops Trump era to loosen safety rules for Arctic drilling. Uh, labor sector is a fool. This might be the most disappointing jobs report of all time, says this guy. All right. All right, here it comes. So I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, uh-oh, CDC reviewing higher COVID death toll from independent group considering revising, <laughs> says Wolinsky, the dumbest rock in the history of Rockville. That's a new CDC director. Uh, U.S. Labor Report, don't expect jobs come roaring back, says an expert. Okay, well, everyone was just saying two minutes ago, we're going to have lots of jobs. Uh, Elizabeth Warren responds to Biden's backing of COVID-19 vaccine patent. All right, so nothing on uh, that I can see on... Uh, on uh, stocks for the large cap, small cap growth, but be it as it may, I don't know. Maybe they're worried about interest rates. I have no idea. All I know is I logged in. So, oh man, I'm down. And that sucks. You don't want to see it down, but you're like at the end of the day, I log in to my M1 account probably once or twice a month just to make sure no one's stealing money from me. But other than that, it's just not. I mean, I actually probably log in a little bit more just to make sure no one's stealing money from me. But I don't really care all that much. And the best thing about it is when you're plugging money in, plugging one, plugging money in, plugging money in. I mean, that's, see, that's the difference between accumulation mode, i.e. I haven't pulled money out of my portfolio to live on, and retirement mode, distribution mode, where I am pulling money out of my portfolio to live on. Who gives a rat's butt 
if what happens to the market is I plug in money in. I mean, I just bought some shares of uh, twice now because I do it every two weeks. Uh, to every two weeks, I buy shares of VBK. And so the mark when it's down 11%, I mean, I'm buying the cheap, man. You see what I'm saying? And I'm just plugging, plugging, plugging. So even though I'm down my in terms of their percentage, my overall amount is just what it was back in February because I'm buying more, I'm buying more, I'm buying more. Then when the markets come back around, I'll be having, I'll be that much wealthier because I bought the low. That's the beauty of dollar cost averaging. That's how you invest. You just plug, 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 and don't pay attention to day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. Just say, no, I'm plugging, I'm plugging, I'm plugging. And when I wake up, you know, two years before my retirement, I'll look and see what I need to do now. That's how you do it. I will right, we'll see you.